Unajua, I, keep, I keep wondering if, if, if you have the guts to stand and stare when people are dancing for the Lord. Knowing that the Bible says, <coughs> knowing that the Bible says that Issue. Okay, let me use the term have fun in Christ. Because your body at a time will rest without knowledge, without movement. It will just be there without thinking. Yet you've been given a chance and a platform to praise for the Lord. But you worry so much and you fear before people you cannot even lift your hand up. Go unto you. The Bible says, come to me with a dance. Go unto you, Lord, come to him with a dance. And um when I swap you my coffee. Many of us have a testimony of how God has brought us this far. You can just reflect, probably you are sick, you are going through challenges, you are trusting God for something. And um, the Lord has done it indeed. So I, I want us even as we go before the Lord this, this morning, let us purpose, let us open our hearts before him and thank him. Tell him he is worthy of our praises. Tell him he is able and as to heal. Do not fear before him. But fear him who can destroy the soul and body and the, and the, and the spirit, everything. Eh, not the one who can just destroy the body. <coughs> So just close your eyes wherever you are. Just close your eyes wherever you are. Tell Jesus, thank you. Thank you for bringing me this far. Thank you. Tell Jesus, thank you for bringing me this far. Thank you, Lord. Tell Jesus, I can stand and say that you are worthy of my praises, of my worship, because of the things that you have done upon my life. Thank you, Jesus. I can stand and say thank you, thank you for who you are in my life because without you Lord I am not able to just tell Jesus thank you for everything that you have done in my life those that I have forgotten those that I can remember and for who I am Lord Jesus thank you tell Jesus I will not be afraid before men but I will worship you in truth and in spirit in the name of Jesus because I can attest to the fact that you are God and God alone Jesus Christ
Devil, you have no power. You have no authority. December is blessed. Lord, bless us with your blessings that addeth no sorrow this month. Your blessings that addeth no sorrow, Lord. Abba Father, thank you because in you, Lord, there is life and life eternal in the name of Jesus Christ. You say that you are coming to give life and to give it in abundance. So Jehovah Massa, on behalf of this man, we claim life. We claim life, Jehovah Massa, unto ourselves, O God. We claim life in our dance unto our families, Jehovah. We claim lives. We claim life, O God, for everyone and everything that concerned us in Jesus' name. Thank you because the Bible says we have been given power. We have been given authority to trample over snakes and scorpions, over the adder, over the lioness. Thank you, Jehovah, because we have power. We have authority. Therefore, Lord, we bring down every spirit of premature death, O oh God. Father, People are not going to die this season as if they don't have a father. Intervene, Jehovah Massa. Fight against everyone who fights against us in the name of Jesus Christ. As the Bible says that no weapon fashioned against us shall prosper. Lord, therefore in the name of Jesus Christ, May you gonna fight on our behalf this morning. Set us free, O oh God, from every orchestration of the enemy, any orchestration of Satan against our destinies. We surrender our destiny unto your everlasting arms this, this month, O oh God. Lord, we thank you. We thank you for life. We thank you for life in our dance. In the mighty name of Jesus. For the Lord, I want to surrender every sickness right now before thee. Anyone, Lord, here in your sanctuary that is called by your name. That, oh God, we are here in your presence. Therefore, let every sickness. I command every sickness to bow. I command every sickness to bow. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We are tired of the wavering faith, Jehovah Master. That we claim to be having faith. Where else we are still uplifting the, the wicked plans, oh God. We declare in the name of Jesus Christ. We are victorious. Every situation that seems to bring us down. Abba Father, we now in the name of Jesus Christ. Weigh it down in Jesus name. We bring it down in Jesus name. Abba Father, I declare and decree that no one who is here in the name of Jesus Christ. Are going to come out of this place with the same testimony. Give us a new song. Give us a new song. Let it be a month of victory. Let it be a month of joy. Our people are not going to shed tears in the name of Jesus Christ. Abba Father, I pray, surrendering the youth and this generation unto your everlasting arms. Abba Father, I bind the perversion of the enemy. I bind every spirit, oh God. Of evil sent against so oh God by the enemy. May you gonna set us free this morning, set us free this season. Abba Father, I bind the spirit of backsliding. The Bible says that in the house of mud, that is where the fall of man is. But I declare and decree that everyone who has made it here, Lord, this Sunday, Abba Father. 
and everyone and everything that concerneth us. Our Father, I declare and decree that we are not going to get lost. We are not going, oh God, to lose hope in salvation in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, give us strength. Give us vigilance, oh God. Give us, oh Lord, your Holy Spirit that he may be our teacher, our counselor, and our guide. Bless this nation this morning. Bless the government. Bless our president, his deputy, Lord. And Lord Jehovah, we pray for your shalom to take over this nation. Abba Father, I speak a blessing unto every family represented here that every need that they have brought unto thee, you are meeting it in Jesus' name. By faith, I declare and decree they are not going to sing the old song again, but they are receiving new testimonies. In the name of Jesus Christ, we worship you, Lord. We adore you, Jesus. Someone just clap unto the Lord and rejoice because the Lord has done it for us. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we prayed and believed. Amen. And now, our Father. Numbers, first reading comes from the book of Numbers 20, Numbers chapter 20, verse 1 to 13, and the uh, second reading comes from the book of Joshua 5, 5 to 6.
And Moses took the rod from, from before the Lord as he commanded him. And Moses and Aaron gathered the congregation together before the rock. And he said unto them, Hear now, ye rebels, must we fetch you water out of this rock? And Moses lifted up his hand, and with his rod he smote the rock twice, and the water came out abundantly. And the congregation drank, and their beasts also. And the Lord spake unto Moses and Aaron, because he believed me not to sanctify me in the eyes of the children of Israel. Therefore, he shall not bring this congregation into the land which I have given them. Verse 13, the last one. And it says, This is the word of Mary of Meribah, because the children of Israel strove with the Lord and he was sanctified in them. My name is Alfred Jiroge and I'm saved. Thank you. Praise God. My name is Gabriel Gige. The second word comes from the book of Joshua, chapter 5, verse 5 to 6. Verse 5. Now all the people that came out, out were circumcised. But all the people that were born in the, in the wilderness, by the way, as, the, as they came forth out of Egypt, them they had not circumcised. Verse 6. For the children of Israel walked 40 years in the wilderness, till all the people that were, in, that were men of war, which came out of Egypt, were consumed, because they obeyed not the voice of the Lord, unto whom the Lord swore that he would not shew them the land which the Lord Verse 6, for the children of Israel walked 40 years in the wilderness, till all the people that were, that were men of war, which came out of Egypt, were consumed, because they obeyed not the voice of the Lord, unto whom the Lord swore that he would not shew them the land, which the Lord swore unto their fathers, that he would give us a land, that floweth with milk and honey. My name is Gabriel Gie. Jesus is my savior and God bless. God bless. Let's appreciate them. At this time we will rise and sing hymn 116, the first stanza and the chorus, then we listen to the word of God. Hymn 116. Praise and worship to Jesus. The first stanza and the chorus, and will come the preach. Hey, one sixteen. There is not a friend like the lowly Jesus. No, no, child. Shall we pray? Everlasting Father, we say thank you for this opportunity that you have granted unto us. We don't take it, Father, for granted, Jehovah Master. 
you have been with us, Father, since we started this year, Jehovah Master, surely you are Ebenezer, our Father. Thank you, Father, for gathering us in one accord in your house that is called by your holy name, that we may hear and hear, Father, from you, Jehovah Master, O God. King of glory, I'm just a vessel, use me, our Father, Lord. May you gonna increase as I decrease, our Father. Not by might, not by power, but by your spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray and believe. Praise the name of the Lord. It is another moment that the Lord has granted unto us that we may hear from him. Praise the name of the Lord. My name is Moses Jenga. I love Christ as my personal savior. I'm delighted to stand before you and share the word of the Lord. I don't take it for granted. Praise the name of the Lord. We shall go directly to the word of the Lord because of, because of the interest of time. And because we know we have a lot after this, praise the name of the Lord. Uh, we have been taken through through our readings. Uh, our first reading was coming from the book of Numbers, chapter number 20. Praise the name of the Lord. And this we find that the children of Israel, they came to a desert called Zain. And they were complaining to Moses and they were telling Moses, why did you bring us here? And yet, here in, uh, in Egypt, we were at least living well. You have brought us here with our families and our cattle here so that we can die, well, so that we may die here. Praise the name of the Lord. In that, when, they, uh, when Moses heard they were complaining, he went to God and pleaded with God. That is Moses and Aaron. And the Lord is telling Moses, out of a rock they shall come out water. And today's our message is, we shall speak to our rocks. We have different rocks in our life. And we'll have to speak to them. And we'll have to follow the instruction of what the Lord has told us to do. The reason as to why the, the, the rock is going to produce the content that is carrying it is because we are going to obey and we are going to follow the instruction. Praise the name of the Lord. So Moses, when he's pleading with the Lord, the Lord is telling Moses in verse 8, Take your rod and your brother Aaron, gather the congregation, speak to the rock before your eyes. Praise the name of the Lord. Today the Lord is telling you there is a rock that is in your life that has a content that has a, that has to manifest the word God has purpose for you to be. And you have to speak to that rock so that whatever the Lord has orchestrated or predestined for you, it can be manifested. Praise the name of the Lord. So Moses is being told by the Lord, speak to the rock and the rock is going to remove the content. Hallelujah. Most of us, when we are in the wilderness, there is a certain potential that the Lord sees. But if we cannot see the potential, the hidden thing, we cannot, we can only, only stagnate, uh, stagnate in the same, same position. We can only complain. We can only, yani the, only the only thing that these children could do, it is only to complain. At times we enter into a season of complaint. This week I've been meditating upon the word of the Lord in the book of Psalms chapter number 142. And David was crying and he was paying. He was crying unto the Lord and he was saying that I cried loudly to the Lord. I cried loudly to the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. And David when he was saying that way, he said that in, that, in the midst of my cry, I complained and I told the Lord all my troubles. Because he understood that when I access to the presence of the Lord, I have to take the advantage of the presence of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. That's why David says, in the presence of the Lord, there is fullness of joy. And that's why he says, do not cast me away from your presence. There is a time that you can access to the presence of the Lord. Until you hear now, you are meeting the king of kings. And you have to take the advantage of that time. Because it does not come easily. Praise the name of the Lord. So these people, the Lord is telling Moses, speak to the rock. 
There are, what is it carrying? It is carrying the content of what these people are complaining. I don't know what you have been telling God from January, February. Now we are in December. And you are telling God, this is what I've been wanting into my life. This is what I've been trusting you, God, for. But are you ready to obey the instruction of what the Lord is telling you? Are you ready to obey the instruction? If the Lord tells you, now I want you to go for fasting. Now I want you to go and do this. Do you remember in the days of Cornelius, Cornelius was a man, was a centurion servant. The Bible says he was a giver. He assisted the needy. And the Bible says at a one point, the angel of the Lord appeared to Cornelius and he told Cornelius, your prayers have been answered. Praise the name of the Lord. Because of the act, what he was doing. The word of the Lord says very clearly that Cornelius did not understand the voice of the Lord. And then the angel appeared to him and he gave him some instruction. So there are many things that we can lock in our life. There are many things that we can open. It is only when we have the key. What was the key to the water? It, is, it was only to obey the instruction and to speak to the rock. What was the key to the success of Cornelius? It is only to touch the people who are needy. You remember Dorcas. The Bible says very clearly that when Apostle Peter visited the village and he met widows who were crying, young children who were crying, and he asked them, why are you crying? We have lost one of them, our own, our man, a person who assisted us, a person who made uh, change our life. Praise the name of the Lord. The Bible says, and he asked them, what did he, what was she doing for you? She, uh, they told Apostle Peter that this woman used to make for us some clothes. And we are widows. Praise the name of the Lord. The word, the word of the Lord says very clearly that Peter was touched by what this woman was doing. Hallelujah. And when he was touched by what this woman was doing, he made something. He made the woman come back. Back to life because he was making, he was touching some people's life. Are you going to ask yourself, even as much I'm crying for the Lord for something, am I an advantage to the society? Am I touching somebody's as life? Praise the name of the Lord. That's why the Bible tells us that we must make our investment unto the kingdom of heaven. Not our investment unto the earthly because the moths are going to steal. They are going to destroy. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Let us make our investment unto the kingdom. Someone said, and he said very, um, a man said, that the currency of this economy, it is money. But the currency of the kingdom is faith. We can only transact in the kingdom of God through a currency called faith. That's why we can bring things that are not seen to be seen in physically. That is the currency that we have. Praise the name of the Lord. So Moses does not obey the word of the Lord by speaking uh, uh, to the rock. But he only took the rod and he knocked the rock and the water came out. Yes, it was a good because he could not believe why, I, why do I have to speak to the rock? At times when we are in trouble, we think that this trouble is so big. When we look that rock, you know, he went into that dimension. This is not a stone. This is a rock. And these people are complaining to me. What do I do? Do I have to speak to the rock? Or I have, I, will, I do, uh, will I take my rod and knock the rock so that the water can come out? The only place we are going to lose it is when we think that what we have with our senses can assist us. Praise the name of the Lord. Because the way of the Lord is so simple. Follow the instructions. Speak to the rock. The Lord tells you this is what you, you are supposed to do. But you do opposite. 
Praise the name of the Lord. That's why we are losing. Our blessings are being diverted because we are not key to pay the instructions. That's why any product that we are buying nowadays, there are some instructions that we have to follow. Praise the name of the Lord. I believe every person is carrying a phone, others iPhone, others many kinds of phones. But how many people, when they bought their phones, they went back to their manual and they read about the manual about using this phone? How many? You bought a phone and you said, I'm going to go through, today I'm going to go through the manual before I use this phone. How many? But you took the phone and you started using it. In fact, you called the closest friend to hear that it was functioning. But the, the truth of the matter, it is you have to follow the instruction. You will have to follow the manual. There is no shortcut. And this is our manual. Praise the name of the Lord. We are looking at success in many ways, but success is coming through following the manual, the word of the Lord. If you are willing and obedient, you shall eat the good of the land. Ask and it shall be given. You are the saints to inherit the kingdom of God so you can summon the angels of the Lord and tell them go and bring this and they shall do it. Hebrews chapter number 1 verse 14. When you follow the manual. But you want to go with your mind. I know this is an iPhone. I know this is a techno. I know this is. But when this one brings oh. It has some issue. You go back to the person who saw for you. And the person will tell you, did you read your manual? Yes. Confidently. Yes. Because there was a price. There was a cost of buying that phone. Remember? Because you're going to go with a lot of confidence. I bought the phone. So I have to get a good thing. I have to get a good results. The salvation was purchased. It was about the cost. And that's why Jesus is telling the disciples, and you have to pay the cost of being a disciple. Praise the name of the Lord. Woman, in the book of Kings, chapter number four, the woman is coming to Elisha and he's telling, you know, I don't have anything. I don't have anything. But the prophet of God is asking the woman, woman, what do you have? Just a little oil. What do you do? Go and borrow cherry cans. At the same time, we are finding the children, uh, the sons of the prophet are coming to Elisha. They are telling Elisha, we need to expand our territories. Many people have been telling God, I need to go to another level. From one glory to another one. But are you ready to pay the costs? Young children, when they enter into a supermarket, they will cry for everything. Daddy, I want this bicycle. Daddy, I want that one. I need that television. I need that remote. They are crying for everything. But when they grow up and realize everything, it is about the price. They will never cry for everything. That's why today you don't go to a car's hub and cry for a Mercedes. You will only cry for a Mercedes if your pocket is loaded. Are you getting it? So any time that you are crying for something, understand there is a... Any time that you want to be somebody else, understand there is a... And that person will never tell you there is a cost that he paid. He will tell you this is the way... Are we ready to pay the cost? The cost will involve discipline. Apostle Paul writes to the church of Corinthians and he's telling the church of Corinthians, I've kept my body fit. When I go for a contest, I'm not going to be disqualified. How many people have been disqualified here? You are disqualified to many things. You enter into interview rooms. 
like some of us. You are the only person who is not taken. Are you going to give up because of that? But Apostle Paul says that I've kept my body fit. That when I go for a contest, I'm not going to be disqualified. How are you going to keep your body fit? Through the word of God, prayers and fasting. Remember, fasting brings authority. Prayer brings power. There is a big difference between authority and power. Praise the name of the Lord. Because of time, let us rise up. It is only simple. Following God's instruction. Ready to pay the price. How many people are telling God? I'm ready to pay the price. Even as we are going to, as we are finishing 2021, to enter 2022, I'm ready to pay the price. Whatever you are going to write as Habakkuk says that, write your vision in bold. Are you ready to pay the price of that vision? Are you ready to sacrifice? Are you ready to go places? Are you ready to say, God, this is what I'm be desiring, but I'm going to work upon it. Praise the name of the Lord. Shall we lift up our hands before the Lord and tell the Lord to help us to follow his instructions in everything. In the name of Jesus, some of us are in the wilderness. And they are asking, where are they going to quench their thirsts? There are some people who are in wilderness. They are crying to the Lord day and night. And they are asking, God, how am I going to quench my thirsts? There is a rock before you. And the Lord is telling you, speak to your rock. Speak to the rock of your career of your marriage speak to the rock of your education you speak to the rock somebody speak to the rock speak to the rock of your business
thank you, Father Lord, for the work you shall, be, you shall, you shall do, O oh God, in the name of Jesus, O oh God. We pray that those who, are, uh, who have got a chance to give, O oh God, we may bless them. And those who haven't, O oh God, we pray that, Lord, next time, O oh God, you shall give them no kill of glory and come and remove as you command us, Lord, in uh, your word, O oh God, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. To pick up my coffee. <laughs> This time we are going to just hear a brief uh, before we uh, our announcement briefly. If there is any visitor in our midst, come and we would like to, to recognize you. Come right. on, uh, Our service begins at eight. Eight, though uh, sometimes come at eleven or eight thirty because of some challenges, and then. So if you come early, we'll be able to start Mapema. So we niambie, utajiangalia kama ulifika 8, ujue ni wewe uliturubusha nyuma kidogo. Because this is a family and uh, we love to walk pamoja. Sawa sawa. So and then the next thing, uh, uh, we'll have a wedding. Uh, itakuwa date. Yeah, 18th, yeah, Moses and Kate. So I guess it's next Saturday. Yeah, it is next Saturday, not uh, I'm guessing it, I'm very sure. It's Saturday. So itakuwa hapa uh, from 10. So najua watu wengi watakuwa nyumbani. Please, usikai nyumbani. Si mmejua, si mnajua Moses ni nani? Eh, ni mwenye ame preach. I guess that is the last preaching akio single. Amen. Hallelujah. Simply give up. Amen, amen. Yeah, in Guinea, I see my seven in the Kujan. Hallelujah. So, uh, then uh, we have an induction uh, next Sunday, 19th, Kulo Tepes. So, any leader to Naombo when the Kulo Tepes, only leaders will go there and uh, service it and deliver it to the Leaga from 8. Then the only leaders who attend Akule. So, and then another thing uh, for the members of Guild who are here, and ask here, uh, Guild Takua choose the Huku, Kiserian, so you are values. And then uh, we have a Christmas cantanta that we have been announcing all over. So, it Takua 23rd of uh, December from 6 to 9. So, come. Uh, and uh, we celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ in advance. Praise the name of the Lord. And the God is Masai. Ah, the, the poster is there. Uh, the, nah? So, to Marquis of Tzota, entry is 50 bob, uh, a candle, and then dress code is Masai. So, and then we sadly announce uh, the death of our mom. Uh, uh, I call him because Alikona to support Sana. He used to come uh, in the morning service. Alikona Kapale. Because if you can note, the Adna Kunamtu. He ended up on Kapale. And the last Sunday, Alikua Pali saw my Bible. Alikua 28th November. So if Alikua 28th November, you can know who we are talking about. Ali saw my Bible. So let us pray for that family so much and uh, support them. Leo kuna mashakaya kwa after the service ya church ni hapa kamoranga ukipanda hivi. So may the Lord bless you and increase. Uh, leo kuna holy communion uh, second service so if you partake the holy communion uh, you are requested to remain behind. Uh, I hope to see you on Saturday at here. Okay? Saturday sindio? I call you Niarusi, see Kitungine, see fellowship. Hallelujah. So, Saturday, I want to see you. May the Lord bless you. Amen. I will request us to stand and uh, say, May the grace as we terminate our service today. And may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us forevermore. Amen. I will invite the praise and worship to give us a song 
as we go out. Welcome. Thank you.